Is it weird that I like that smell? Yeah, it's weird. Do you like it? What, the old, old man car smell? No, petrol. Oh, no, I like that. Yeah, no, I like that. Morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all well. We're going to get straight into this one because if I'm being completely honest with you, I'm making this introduction after I've made the video because me and Claire were supposed to do an introduction to this video when we were going to pick up what we bought and we sort of forgot somehow and we <laughs> so I'm making a little intro intro to it now to something which I absolutely hate doing and that's buying cars online which I really hate doing buying cars online that you haven't seen that's a hard one for me as you can probably appreciate my subscribers and that you, you know what I'm like you know I'm a nightmare I know I'm a nightmare but buying cars online especially sort of quite lumpy cars which are quite valuable oof, it's a really hard one I struggle with it really badly but with it's it's been so busy recently there's been a couple of cars come up for sale which I wanted to buy and I actually bought this car when so the last video when I was fixing Ammo's 5 series I actually had my laptop running in the background and I was watching that auction at the same time because I wanted this particular car and I had to buy it online and uh, and you know buying on online can can be so scary even when they've got condition reports you've got to appreciate that one person's opinion on something that you can potentially see whether it's two meters away or two miles away or two feet away everyone's opinion is different on particular parts of a car that needs to be appraised and if you see something that they don't and then you oh it can get really messy and really scary and i hate doing it but i had to do it on this one so you can join me and claire on the way to go and to pick this up and see how it goes <laughs> uh, no no i'm not drinking that thank you oh, i don't want any of it though you I would said, like you just to have one little mouthful. But you said it tastes disgusting. It does, because I want you to see what I go through. But I can't... Oh, it smells like gone off yoghurt. It's... it's... Just have a mouthful, you weirdo. But it's... Just have a little... But it's, it's... Most people just try things in right. life. You know when you go to a milk <laughs> bottle and it's done? That's what that smells like. It doesn't. Smell it. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> if that wasn't, <laughs> yeah, that is. Tastes like a that tastes like the yogurt in a Miller fruit crunch corner without the chocolate. Oh, yeah, it tastes just like that. That tastes all right. Oh, that's what I would have said. Yeah, it just tastes like. Is that yeah. not just what natural yogurt tastes like? Yeah, well, yeah, cold. You. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It does, it affects your brain. That's why I bought a gym, so it's funny. Why, how much are they? Oh my god, I thought you were going to say 50 quid for a bottle then. Oh no! It's 50 quid for a bottle! Oh, right. no wonder they're on TV. Your little mic on. Oh, that's what I do. I can't even, I don't even know if the phone's in the right place now, it's fallen off. I'll just look at it, I think I turned it on. Just look at it. Just a little. <laughs> I meant the little light. Oh, furious, it's not on. That was funny. There you go. I'm glad we checked that now because it's not on. I forgot to do that. I don't know where this should go now. No, it's fallen off. It's open if you stop. Oh, no, I think it's all right. That looks a bit poorly, doesn't it? That looks like that. That looks like the black one that we had. It's done the same thing by the looks of things. Skip over the ridge in case someone's bought that. Oh, that's unhappy both sides. I think you know, last time I came here and filmed, it was just the same weather. It was freezing cold. Dad was losing the plot somewhere because he was. Dad was grumpy. <laughs> He was not happy. We couldn't. We couldn't find the car. He was so upset with the. So upset with the the way that the system here works because, well, you just don't know where your car is. 
I don't want to see this car a little bit. I, f I feel like. Quite where it was then. He said. He, he told us the red. He said it was an S3, which is. Oh, they did, but the car wasn't where it was supposed to be. <laughs> so, what about this one? Look, what do you think? That's a, I think that's cool already, just because of the colour of it. Yeah, that's that's a that's an S. Yeah, you can tell by the wheels. Yeah, one point two S. So it doesn't get the roof, but look, but they look sportier, don't they? Well, it's sold. Oh. Yeah, this is in the sold compound now. Uh, it's just um. That would have been a good one. Yeah, it would. That probably went through yesterday. Oops, forgot. Uh -huh. He so he said it's up here somewhere on the right. If we get to the trees, we've gone too far. Trees are over there. Oh, I think I can see it. Oh, what if it's a pile of poo? How about you go and have a quick look? Because I think it's that one there, right? I think it's that 5 Series. See that with a privacy glass in the back? Just there? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh there? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm just, just going to have a quick look around it, right? I hate buying cars offline. Just, just... I know I should... Most car dealers don't care about this, but I hate buying cars offline and, I, and I've, I've bought it unseen. I know there was a condition report and stuff, but I've bought it unseen. I just want to let Claire have a look at it first. Me standing here is going to make no difference to whether that's a pile of poo or not. Who he's bibbing at. <laughs> really nice. really. People being nice at drivers waving. Wow, you're not That's joking. Really. I don't, personally, that's only my taste. Oh, it's nice. That's a really nice car. I like the little spoiler on the back. It's really nice. I like it. If you like BMWs, then, then you like the 5 Series. It's a 5 Series, yeah. If you like a 5 Series, then that's a good one. Oh, that's naughty. Yeah. Oh, it's got a nice Pirelli on there. Really? Do you mean that? That'll fly! Really? I'm actually, do you know what? Genuinely. Yeah, it has. Only done 70 Yeah, it came from. So it's a, so it's a two owner. It came from Stephen James from New. He traded it back into Stephen James. This is in from Stephen James. So Stephen James is a BM vendor that they've got. Yeah, it's too old for them to. Oh, the whole that rear bumper needs doing. Um, no. Well, condition-wise, condition, condition -wise, it looks all right. Rear bumper needs doing. So if the engine ain't knocking, we're, we're all right. <laughs> that is looking around. We've come and had a look. We're coming to have a look around. Yeah, I like it. It's not But don't, if you're in a wheelchair, don't you get like mobility? So you get one. Some people choose to have the money. 
instead of the car and then go and choose your own car. Oh, I didn't know there was an option to have the money. Look what Claire's found. I feel like you genuinely like this car. Or... No, this is an 03. In 2004, they changed the headlights to the later ones, which looked a lot nicer, which we had one of because you bought it from work. I don't know about that. I haven't got a clue. I don't definitely know that. I can't remember what it is. Oh, yeah, look. Oh. Is that what that means? I guess so, yeah. Clean, isn't it? Um, it is clean. It's just something there with back of my brain. I can't remember what it is. Look at it. Automatic, heated, electric, memory seat. I'm starting out. Listen to that. Sounds amazing. <laughs> Sounds like gold. I don't know. Right, I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to smoke everyone out. Sometimes, some, sometimes they're at the back, the stamps on Rovers. Sometimes they're right at the back of the owner's manual. I might be wrong. Well, it's a bit, it's a bit damp, that one, isn't it? Is that weird that I like that smell? Yeah, it's weird. Do you like it? What, the old, old man car smell? No, petrol. Oh, no, I like that. Yeah, no, I like that. It's not in there, is it? When we get back, we'll see how much this is worth. <laughs> and look at some MOT advisories. Here's a funny one though, isn't it? Imagine driving that home. Drive like the Titanic. <laughs> would. <laughs> Do you want to buy it? No, it's just a hangover. No, no, it's, that V6 I think is pretty good. The, the four cylinders were awful. K-series head gaskets all the time. I reckon that's probably quite good. Sounds amazing. Then it'd be interesting at any viewers, look at your channel. They probably, some, someone out there probably knows what engine it is, where, when it was built. Whether it's British. Whether it's British. Where so the I'd car like was built. Know. Okay. Really would Claire would like to know. Claire would like to know. So anyone, <laughs> anyone that knows about Rovers, anyone that knows about Rover 75s, when this goes out, please put in the comments who built the engine, who built the car, especially if we buy it. I'm pretty sure it's I would have thought so because of the flag on the back. Good old Rover, isn't it? I think they were the last. It would be interesting to know if I'm right. They were the last Rovers. All right. I'm getting special treatment. Lou, I never met Lou before. Am I getting special treatment because you've seen me on a YouTube channel? No, everyone gets the same treatment. No, that's what I like to see. That's well. Thanks, Lou, for getting my car out. Nice Worries. to meet you. Thanks for watching the channel. I'll speak to you later. Right, he's got it out. Let's see what's it. I really wanted to start it up myself because I was too scared to hate buying cars online. Oh, here we are. Nice interior. Oh, it sounds amazing. Oh, it sounds fine. Oh, life is good. It's all right, people. Life is good. I like it. Oh, it's got Pirellis all round. We're all right, we're all right. Do you know what? Been packing it. Felt sick buying it online. Don't know what's wrong with me, honestly. Got to buy cars online sometimes. Just haven't, just didn't have time to get here. But it's all right. It's a good looking car, look at it. Oh, loving the daytime running lights. Got to have the halos, didn't you? Oh, the front brakes have been done. They got an advisory on the, oh, it's all right. Life is good. Oh, let's go home. Put my belt on, safety first. Got stuff everywhere that Claire's behind me in the van. 
or in the van as I call it. And off we go. Taking you guys with me. Just put some diesel in it. It was it had zero diesel in it, literally zero miles. Luckily, BP is literally right next to Aston Barkley. So the first got no warning lights on yet, people. Nothing. No tire pressure lights, no engine management lights. I mean, hopefully we don't get any, but at the moment we're good to go. It's just a nice 70,000 mile 5 Series 520DM Sport Auto. Nice. It's just a nice car. Oh, stuff everywhere. Got my coat in the back. Oh, it's been driven slowly, this car already. It changes gear at literally 1400 RPM all the time. It's not very responsive. You can already tell this, is how, this has been owned by... How should we say this? I reckon a mature individual has owned this car. New road works, wrong lane, sorry, my fault. So here we go, people. 60 mile an hour, all's good. No lights on so far. It's a nice car, drives nice. In here with the Harman Kardon, which obviously I haven't got on at the moment, but so far, so good. Bought the car online, hadn't seen it before all of a sudden you know already that's already pretty scary for me really scary for me clearly i have got problems with needing to see cars before i buy them and i know that sounds stupid but i need to see if cars have been repainted i need to see if the sides of them are a bit wobbly i need to see if someone's been there before and i know most cars on the road have had have been resprayed but i just I just need to see these cars and I didn't I bought this one online yesterday I've felt sick ever since because I'm like how have I managed to buy that car you know the motor trade's a busy time now and I know this isn't a massively desirable car it isn't you know I mean who who is going to buy this car it's not a family car well it, it, it should be a family car it's a rude family car but, you know, it isn't massively practical. It's not a hatchback. It's a saloon. But it's a massive car, so there's plenty of room in the boot. I don't necessarily know who is going to buy this car. But I didn't buy it because I thought, yeah, that will sell really easily. I bought it because it's uh, supplied by Stephen James BMW. Traded into Steve Stephen James BMW. Has been maintained by Stephen James BMW. You know, all of the pedigree of that is mega. And I just sort of hoped at 70,000 miles... It might be a nice car. So I bought it. Me and Claire. Claire's, I don't know if you can see, but Claire's literally behind me in the Vito now. And we're driving home, you know, and so far, drives beautifully. You know, it's faultless. Stunning. So, for now, that's all I'm going to say about it. There's no wheel wobble. There's no vibrations. There's no rattles in the car. The brakes are perfect. There's no vibration under, under braking through the steering. There's no wheel balance problems through the back. There's, everything's everything's perfect. The aircon works. I mean, we, we might have done all right here. Yeah, there's few bits I've got to do. I've got to get the rear bumper painted and that sort of stuff. Got to get a dent taken out the driver's door. Um, got to get it serviced. But I mean, that's just normal stuff. Got to clean the interior, which I'm already excited about doing. Oh, that's a big hole. But I think we might be all right. So far, so good. So let's get back to the new place and see how we got on. Here's Claire in the Vito. We're back, people. It made it. No problems. It's a lovely car. Well happy. So I'll tell you what. This is now a week on from when we bought this car and you saw Claire literally just driving down there in the van. This is a week on. That was Thursday last week. It's now Thursday. I can't remember. Are we in February? Can't even remember. But the car's still lovely. I've driven it for a week. As you know, That I, I like to try and drive all the cars to see if there's anything that is going to develop, if there's any problems. And I'll be honest with you. There is a couple of issues with this car, which I didn't know when I first bought the car. And I'll tell you what, that's where buying cars online is is not necessarily a good thing you know it's i always want to be able to see these cars it's getting too busy now and and, and i knew this car was coming up and yeah it's not the best of news car but but it, it is it's such a lovely car it's so much car for this money that i wanted to buy it 
and a couple of things have now come up on it is it why someone traded it in i don't know it might be but put it this way i'm going to leave this video here if you want me to do a journey on this car prepping it and because i haven't touched it yet then let me know stick it down in the comments say yeah kev do a journey on it tell us tell us about the whole journey of a car when you buy it online which to me is a lot of money that is not a cheap car that was a lot of money to drop that online after when i hadn't seen it that was a lot for me you know i'm not going to cover it up try and try and put like a brave face on it I, I was nervous about it and it's turned out okay the car is a lovely car but it has got its issues so i'll tell you what we'll leave that one there i hope you like this one thanks for watching everyone hit that subscribe button if you like what's going on you know it helps the channel out it makes me feel special and uh i'll say thanks a lot i'll see you on the next one thanks a lot guys see you later bye bye